Hello and welcome to Salvation of Souls TV. I am your host, Brian Clark. Now I'm sure most of you all are already aware of the situation in San Francisco Diocese with Archbishop Salvatore Cordiglione. This faithful son of the church, this faithful Archbishop has been mercilessly crucified, persecuted, humiliated, vilified because he dared to uphold the Catholic Church's teaching on sexual morality, because he dared to insist that Catholic teachers teach the authentic Catholic faith so that those children in their care will learn the truths of the faith and to insist that Catholic teachers live public lives that are not in dissonance with the teachings, the infallible, and I'm going to repeat that, the infallible moral teachings of the one holy Catholic and Apostolic Church. Because he dared to do that, because he dared to stand in the gap, he has been roundly humiliated and crucified. Now, it makes me wonder, what would Jesus say to these so-called 100 prominent Catholics in the city of San Francisco, in the diocese, who took out that full-page ad in the San Francisco Chronicle, calling on Pope Francis to fire this faithful Archbishop. I think it would go something like this. You brood of vipers, you white washed sepulchres, your father is the devil. Now, some will say, well, Jesus would never call them names. Uh, he would love them and uh, embrace them. And uh, I would say, you have lost your mind. Jesus already said those things to others. You see, these people, these 100 so-called prominent Catholics, uh, and all these other non-prominent Catholics, or Catholics who didn't have enough money to put an ad of their own, these liberals, these dissenters from church teachings, these people have done a demonic in an evil thing, a demonic and evil thing in attacking this faithful man. So now that faithful Catholics in the diocese have risen up, they have said that they support the Archbishop, that they're going to have uh, marches and things of that nature. The laity is coming to his rescue. So that brings me to another point, something that's been in the back of my mind all this time. Where are the other bishops, archbishops, cardinals in the U.S.? Where are their voices raised in support of Archbishop Salvatore Cordiglione. Where is the USCCB's statement in support of him? Where is that? Why hasn't there been a single word? Now I know on social media different faithful priests and faithful nuns, the laity certainly, and I am quite sure 
some bishops and so on have spoken out. Where are the majority of them? Why not a word? Where is your voice, Cardinal Dolan? Where is your voice? Or you raise your voice when you are leading a St. Pat St. Patrick's or rather a Patrick's Gay Parade in New York City. Oh no, it's not St. Patrick's, believe me. It's no longer a St. Patrick's Day Parade. It's a Patrick's Gay Parade. And you know that. But you led that and raised your voice in support of that lifestyle. Where is your voice raised in support of a faithful Catholic prelate? One of your brother bishops. Where is your voice? Where is your voice, Blaise Supic? Where is your voice? You see, you are supposed to be a, the college of bishops supporting each other, particularly when one of your own is standing firm in support of the teachings of the church. But you say nothing. Not a word. I'd also like to call on faithful Catholic bishops who support the Archbishop but who have not yet spoken out. Maybe you already spoke to him and he told you don't say anything publicly. I don't know. I'm just speculating here. This situation is bigger than Archbishop Codelnioni. This is about the Catholic Church and her teachings and fidelity to her teachings. This has everything to do with the salvation of souls and n now is not the time to be silent. So for all you faithful bishops who support the Archbishop in San Francisco, you need to speak up and speak out now. Call a press conference. Do it now. Call a press conference and tell everyone that you support Archbishop Codelioni because what he is teaching, preaching, proposing is in fact the infallible teaching of the Catholic Church and that you support that. Stand with him publicly, publicly. Do not be afraid. As far as you, 100 so-called prominent Catholics and others of your ilk, other dissenters, cafeteria Catholics, whatever stupid name, oh, I shouldn't say stupid, ignorant name you choose, whatever other ignorance you choose to promote, other demonic activities you choose to engage in, to sabotage the church and her infallible teachings. Let me tell you this right now. Repent, for you will surely lose your salvation. Repent now. Hell is real. That's an infallible teaching of the one holy Catholic and apostolic church. Repent now or risk losing your salvation for all eternity. I and all faithful Catholics will be praying for you. Because we must love you. We don't like you. Believe me when I tell you that. I'm not going to hug you and sing Kumbaya. That's not going to happen. But we love you. And we want you to go to heaven. And you will not go to heaven if you continue this type of demonic activity trying to sabotage and destroy the Bride of Christ. So, 
repent now. I will leave you all with this. The salvation of souls is the reason that the church exists. Sal Archbishop Salvatore Corleone, his efforts there are focused solely on the salvation of souls. Let us continue to pray for him and all of his activities that the Lord protect him and keep him safe and give him courage and sustain him. Give him perseverance and determination and let all the angels of heaven be with him, surrounding him. Michael the Archangel, Prince of the Heavenly Host, protect the one holy Catholic and Apostolic Church. Amen.